Welcome back to another episode of DDO 10 Minute Tips. In this series of videos, we're going to focus, we are focusing on hirelings and uh, some of the ways that you can use them to get the most out. Uh, in this particular video, we're going to work on uh, some of the basics where it's, uh, they are defending my character or your character um, being passive in other words just following along and not doing anything and uh, free will and then we'll also look at ways of using them somewhat creatively to get a little more out of uh, your investment. So what we're going to do now to start with is to go ahead and get the passive out of the way. Now I put them into passive. I clicked on my character and if you notice over here where the gears were, it becomes a shield. Um, you can select other characters or non-player characters and have your companion protect them. In Corthos Village, there's really no uh, reason to do that. In fact, in the first three levels, there aren't any. But uh, in the fourth level dungeons, there's um, the Sharn Syndicate, where one of them you have to protect. Actually, two char non-player characters that you have to protect, and you can set a hireling to do that. Okay, so back to passive. Alright, they are passive. There's uh, the borders here. It shows you which mode you have them in. So, what we're going to do is since I'm a rogue, I'm going to sneak up and just have the uh, play, uh, NPC follow along. Now, they alerted. and took the ag aggression. Now we'll just go ahead and do these others. At that time, It didn't actually work because to get when I uh, um, was sneaking, I used one of the uh, clickies over here, Shiv, and I missed, so I became visible more or less. So, all right. And so I'm going to do some cleanup here until I get to another point. Okay, now we're back, and I'm going to place the hireling into protective mode, which means she'll follow along behind me, and as soon as I take some damage or she takes some damage, she's going to react and uh, fight.
Okay, so. We've uh, seen a pretty big difference in how the hireling reacts. Okay, now we're going to go back and go into the antechamber. Where the final altar is. And I'm going to place her into proactive, which means she's going to go and do what she feels best, regardless of what I am doing. Although she may come to my assistance every once in a while. Okay. So here we go. Dang it. Missed one. Be right back. Okay. Okay, we're back here. There we go. Now I'm going to sneak in. And I didn't make it in time to stop them. to destroy the altar. But if you notice, she stayed over in this area and took care of the spell caster that was in here. It was kneeling right about here. So those are the three basic ways to um, use your hirelings. One thing we didn't do was um, commanding her to actually do any kind of attack. So, in the next video, we shall go over that and some tactics to use with them. All right, until next time, my friends, keep your weapons clean and sharp. Sure.